Hello everyone, it's Craig here along with Rhino, Steve, Tom, Fiasco, and we are inside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We are standing right outside Docking Bay 7 right now. We are going to go inside, we're going to try as much food as we can, and we're going to let you know what we think. So, I'm ready. Let's go! Yeah. Okay, so I got the uh, Felucian Garden Spread, which is only available during lunch. It's $12.99. It is plant-based kefka, uh, herb hummus, herb hummus, and, uh, and then uh, tomato, cucumber, relish, and pita. It kind of, when you look at it, looks like it's vegan meatballs with uh, hummus and some pita. But it looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna dive in here. Honest to God, this looks like this could be meat, and I, I secretly feel like I have the wrong thing. Okay, interesting, from looking at it, I thought this was going to be a warm meal. The meatballs are kind of warm, or the kefka is kind of warm. Um, it might be made with like impossible meat or something, I don't know if you could ever see this in the video, but it's got like quinoa as one of the bases in it, and this could probably be beyond or impossible meat or something like that. Something similar, and basically the hummus underneath, it's all good. It's got a little bit of a spice to it, and I am digging it right now. So, so far, so good. I'm into this. So, I got the fried Andorian tip yip. It's uh, $15.49. It's essentially fried chicken uh, with a like mashed potato base and gravy. Um, it's really good. It's delicious. The only thing I will say is that I would prefer the Plaza fried chicken. I think that's still better than this. Um, not that this is bad. This is great. Um, but it's hard to beat the Plaza fried chicken. Mashed potatoes and gravy are deli they're really good. They have like almost like a tang to them that I really like. Uh, and I don't want to forget to mention that these like spork looking things are really cool. Um, it comes in like basically a long cube or, or like bar of chicken. So it has like a cool spacey feel to it. Um, overall, I definitely order this again. It's really, really good. But if I, again, if I have to pick between this or the Plaza Fried Chicken, Plaza Fried Chicken still wins. So, I got the roasted Andorian tip yip salad. It's marinated chicken, mixed greens, roasted seasonal vegetables, quinoa, pumpkin seeds, and green curry ranch. So, this is actually amazing. Um, the chicken is like, it has a little kick to it. A little spicy, a little spicy green ranch or whatever. It's got a nice little kick to it, but not too much of a kick. And then what was it, these oranges? Is that what it was? There's some sort of like um, fruit in there. I'm trying to figure out what the fruit is. I'm pretty sure. That's not an orange. Maybe it's just a vegetable. But the veggies, they got like a little bit of a tangy, refreshing uh, burst to them. It's definitely themed well to the land. It looks like something that is out of this world. And similar to like Satuli Canteen, I don't know if you've been there. This is this is here right now, but if you're watching this, you're probably looking forward to both Coast Galaxy's edges. But this is something definitely like that reminds me of uh, the theming in Satuli Canteen. And it's really good. I'd definitely come back here. When I come back here, I'm probably going to get this. And if I didn't already say, the price on this was uh, $13.99, but huge thumbs up in my book. All right, so I've got the smoked Kaibu ribs at $16.99, uh, sticky pork ribs, a blueberry muffin, and a cabbage slaw. Um, the barbecue sauce is, is sweet, but a little bit spicy. Probably not as tender as it could be. It's not falling off the bone, so it's you know, holding its spot. Um, the slaw is good. Uh, I probably could use a little more of something, maybe a little more vinegar. Um, there's not much to it. 
the blueberry muffin is really interesting. It's a savory blueberry muffin, so there's not a lot of sweet. It's not any sweetness to it. Um, almost like a savory cornbread, but within with blueberries in it. Um, it's really good. Uh, I would I would get this again. This would probably be my go-to item on the menu, unless I steal some of Steve's. I drew the. I don't know what kind of card. It's not a good card. I've got the Yop Shrimp Noodle Salad, Chilled Shrimp, Marinated Noodles, and Vegetables for $15.99. It's not that I'm sure this isn't tasty. It's just, this is like the least impressive thing on the menu, in my opinion. Well, you would hate the slimy noodles. I'll tell you that much right up front. <laughs> The plus about this thing, it is super spicy. For me, it's like right there, it's spicy. It's a little numb on the tongue, but not like overdone. But I think for the average person, they would find this to like be infuriatingly hot. So. Another delicious item. Uh-huh. So it's very rare that we actually order off the kids menu. But in this case, the shrimp noodle salad is a kid's item, as well as the fried and Dorian tip yip, which Steve had. That comes with macaroni and cheese. We ordered him the wrong meal. Dang. Um, I'm doing one of the other kid's meals, the third kid meal. It's the taste of takadona. It is a black bean hummus, edible soil with nuts, chilled dipping vegetables, and multi-grain crisps. Beautiful presentation. I cannot imagine how any kid would ever like this. <laughs> I take it back. I said delicious earlier as if we'd had it and we had it. Edible soil. They'll eat dirt. The hummus is good. The vegetables are fresh. If your kid eats this, good for them. I doubt they will. It's tasty, but I don't see this lasting on the menu for very long. We are all done with our meal. Uh, the Felucian Garden Spread, I thoroughly enjoyed all the way through. I would definitely get this again in a heartbeat and I look forward to coming back for it, so I definitely recommend that. Um, and then we tried the two desserts that they offer here, which is the Oi Oi Puff and the Batu Bon. Uh, the Oi Oi Puff, $6.49 is raspberry cream puff, passion fruit mousse. The Batu Bon, $6.99 is a chocolate cake, white chocolate mousse, coffee custard. Honestly, I don't know which one I like better. I enjoyed both of them. Um, so it's up to you. I thought they were both very flavorful and tasteful. So you guys want to say what, how you felt about your stuff? We, oh, I'm sorry, we also got before I move on, special the three specialty beverages, all non-alcoholic here. We had the Moof Juice, they're all 549. The Moof Juice is simply fruit punch, simply orange with pineapple. Chipotle pineapple is in there as well. Then there's the uh, Fatro, I feel like that's an attack. Uh, Gold Peak, unsweetened tea, Ottawa lemonade, and dessert pear. And then there was the Batu Buka, or Bucha tea, like kombucha, um, which is Suha pineapple passion fruit kombucha. I think I like that one the most because it had a little bit of a different flavor profile because not everybody drinks kombucha and it had a little bit of like a kick to it. So that's just me though. You guys, I don't know what you preferred. Go on, here's your menu. So I really enjoyed, I had the, um, what is it, the fried and Dorian tip yip. Uh, it's basically fried chicken. Uh, overall, really good. I would order it again. I had every single bite. It was, uh, Rhino said it was basically like a deconstructed um, chicken pot pie essentially. Uh, so yeah. I would definitely get that. Uh, apparently the kids menu has uh, mac and cheese though, so I wish I had gotten that. Um, the Moof juice was my favorite of the juices. Uh, it did taste a little watered down to me though. I don't know if that's just the batch that we got or if that's just how it always tastes, but overall uh, that was my favorite. Um, and then from the desserts, I like the uh, Oi Oi Puff, the raspberry like tart basically. Uh, I like that taste. I, I like like fruitier desserts more than chocolatey chocolate desserts, but that's just me. Um, so that's the one I preferred. And yeah, so like I said, my tip yip salad was awesome. I'd highly recommend it. Uh, the chicken was really good quality, tasted delicious. As far as the desserts go, the chocolate one was my favorite. What was that called again? That was the Bon? 
Yeah, yeah the, uh, the, ba the Batuban. That was by far my favorite. The other one was good, but it didn't drive me crazy. The Batuban, though, I thought was really, really stinking good. Uh, for the drinks, I actually liked all of the drinks. I thought they were all really refreshing. Uh, the Moof Juice, though, would have had to be my, be my favorite, but the, uh, the Kombucha wasn't, wasn't bad either. Alright, so the smoked kudu ribs, um, and Craig said this uh, as, as an aside earlier, this is like the signature dish of the restaurant, and it just didn't deliver. The barbecue sauce was okay, a little spicy, but not great, and it was not tender. Uh, I, I'm a little disappointed on that. Uh, the desserts, I thought they were okay. I liked the chocolate one a little bit better, but I don't think I'll get either of them again. Uh, as far as the drinks, I like the Fatro. I'm not going to call it Fatro. The Fatro the best, so. Again, just for anyone wondering, I had the Up Shrimp Noodle Salad for $15.99. If you like spicy noodle cold salads, I recommend it. Beyond that, uh, the average person will not really care for it. And again, the taste of Takadona, uh, $8.49 for that kid's meal with hummus and the weird topping. I can't imagine any kids liking that. Uh, for me, for the desserts between the Oi Oi Puff and the Batu Bon, I actually like the Batu Bon. Uh, I'm, I don't like chocolate heavy desserts. I genuinely thought it was better than the Oi Oi Puff. I thought that kind of left me a little, uh, a little bit wanting more. But that was just my take on it. And then from the three drinks, uh, I did not care for the Move Juice at all. I thought it was watered down. It was gross. It tasted like the, the fruit punch they give you at like either church or at uh, preschool or whatever, just gross. Uh, Fatra wasn't that bad, and I preferred the Batu, ba, Batu Bucha tea because I love good kombucha. So that's it for our review of the lunch menu here at Docking Bay 7. Uh, there's also two dinner items that get switched out at 4 o'clock and added to the menu. They take away, I believe, the meal that Rhino had. Yeah. That would that would be gone after four o'clock. So we'll try to try some of the uh, some of the the dinner options on another visit here. And unfortunately, we don't have any breakfast reservations while we're while we're here. Obviously, we're here at this time, so um, we'll have to wait on breakfast for a long, long time. So it's going to do it for this review of Docking Bay Seven. See you next time. And you thought we were done eating, and you should know us by now, we're never done eating. We are back at uh, Docking Bay 7 food for, and cargo. for food and cargo for the two options that show up after 4 p.m. on the dinner menu. Now those are the Ithorian Garden Loaf for $14.99, which is a plant-based meatloaf, roasted vegetable potato mash, and seasonal vegetables with a mushroom sauce. And then we also have the braised shank roast. Uh, shack Sh roast? Shack it's, roast. Yo, shack. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal was put into this different. meal. Okay, uh, beef pot roast, cavatelli pasta, wilted kale, and mushrooms. They both look delicious. I'd swear to God that was meat if I didn't know any better. So I'm going to dive right in with this right, one since right. I like the vegetarian. Since it's right in front of you. Yeah. It's all have to go around. Okay, let me just try the meat. The meat. The beef. The beef. fake beef. Beef. Mmm. All right, so potatoes are good. Try to... I'm going to assume this is like beyond meat again because I, I don't think I would know that wasn't meat if you... I don't believe that that isn't meat, so I don't know. I mean, it's different, but it's, it's yeah, like... Yeah, it's different. But, but it still has a beef flavor to it, but... Yeah. You put it all together, mmm, this tastes like the meatloaf my ma used to make back on Tatooine. Um, let's dive into this other one. This one smells good. This one's got like, ooh, tender ooh, meat. Dang. Tender meat, it's a lot of steam coming off of it here. Ooh. I'm just gonna do a whole mouthful. Oh, that's good. Mm. Tender, mm -hmm. which is what the, the, the rib should have been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is pretty good. I like this one. Yeah, it's like, it definitely tender, cooked well. Um, did you get some of the pasta? It's hot, yeah. It's um, kind of bland. I, what did they say it was? Mushroom sauce on this? Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's really good. No. I actually I like it. I just plain pasta is not, but the, with the vegetables and stuff in it. No! Oh, you lost it. I'm eating it. it. I don't care. Okay, go ahead. 
I like them both, honestly. Um, I feel like if you're not a vegetarian, you'll you'll probably want to go really, with this yeah. one, yeah. Because yeah. this good one is well, a little more flavorful, yeah. But yeah. this one's good too. But what about you guys? What do you? Think? I'm not sure if we had our uh, Ronto Roasters video go out yet, but uh, I have a extra plate for me, so I'm not infecting anyone with the plague. Bubonic, don't worry. What are you starting with? I'm gonna start with this carrot. <laughs> I'm starting with the vegetarian thing. Oh yeah, me too. Oh, here's carrot. Here. I was fully expecting to hate this. But I think it's delicious. Yeah. The see, there's like seasoning ingrained into the patty. I feel like it makes it definitely feel like it's got that meatloaf, you know, packed in. For me, it the the flavor is pretty good, but for me, it kind of comes out more like a dry meatloaf, a little bit overcooked, uh, kind of crumbles a little bit more. Uh, it, that's not a not necessarily a problem. Some people actually like it like that, but I'm like one of those people that. If the, the meatloaf comes out more like medium or medium well, which I know sounds disgusting because there's usually eggs yeah. and of course uh, like 80-20 chuck in there, uh, it's like a recipe for a nightmare, but that's what meatloaf is about. That's about, that's the United States, that's Batu. Um, I'm confused. So I'm a little, I'm not, I, I think it was, it was good, but you know, if, if I wasn't uh, vegetarian or vegan, I would just yeah. I would just move on. From I wouldn't it. Know, I wouldn't pick that over other things, yeah. but I definitely enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Mm. I say thank you very much. It's not a shank. It's a shack. It's a shack. It is, but it's still a shank. I mean, it's just a, it's very short ribs, and it's really delicious. Uh, really tender, like they said. Uh, flavorful. It's not. I was expecting it to be like. Uh, I don't see much gravy or anything on it, but yet it's still really juicy. Yeah, that's a nice little dish. So. I don't remember what it So the price for the garden loaf was $14.99. The shock roast was $18.99. I don't think we've really mentioned it in any videos. While there's not an annual pass discount on any of the merchandise in the inside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, there is an annual pass holder merchandise, or not, annual pass holder discount. There is on uh, discounts on merchandise too, just so you know. There is? Yep, I got it on my Ewok. Oh, well, that was not the first time that I came in. They did not take those, so. Not on the lightsabers and the droids. Gotcha. But, okay, well, on the big stuff, no annual pass holder discount. But anyways, uh, yeah, you save yourself a little bit of money. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, this place is solid overall, I think. Continue saying it. So now that we've added on the dinner-only stuff, again, we can't get the breakfast stuff, but maybe sometime, sometime in the future the galaxy far far away but okay that's now finally it for this video so of course all the same stuff subscribe leave comments down below on it and uh, we'll see you again for the next one